another day on our travels nine o'clock in the morning and we are leaving the campground and uh, today we are planning to get into uh, Yakima and Crystal Canyon so that's part of the roads that we will want to go on It is a beautiful morning, it's still not too bad temperature-wise, uh, first thing in the morning. Uh, we are not on the rush, in the rush on this trip whatsoever, so uh, the departure time is usually like 8.39 o'clock. We will be still exploring a little bit more of uh, Washington State. So last night uh, we met uh, nice couple that were camping here with the RV and they came and joined us for a beer in the evening they brought some fish uh, freshly caught salmon and uh, some other fish and they stayed with us uh, pretty much until we went to sleep so that's a husband and wife and uh, their friend Christopher her name was Kelly and Reimer or Reiner they were really interested about our travel uh, through the states here and our experiences and uh, what we've seen and so on. So we had a really nice chat uh, over the evening. So we're just entering the Fulton Canyon, just outside of the campground that we are staying at. That's the first part of the ride today. It just, just should be just a short, short ride and then we'll go back and continue on our journey. That was a quite short ride of the canyon. Just a short uh, stretch to get from the main drag here to the plateau and back. Yakima, 83 miles crossing the Columbia River. Yeah, that's what I meant. And it should be a sign here, welcome to Washington. That's a cool highway. So now we are going to check out the stone hedge just on top of the hill there. Stone hedge replica. <laughs> I think it is a war memorial, but we'll check it out in a moment. Just uh, drove uh, very few miles out of the campsite to the gas station. So as we said, it is a war memorial and it's actually quite big, surprisingly. Let's get inside, check this out. Yeah, there's a few names here on the wall. And there's different plaques on a different, 
I don't know what you call those gates or something. And a nice view right in front of me here of the Columbia River. And on the bottom, there's plantation of uh, different fruits and wine, winery. That's the bridge that we crossed over just a couple minutes ago. And the campground we stayed at is just behind those uh, mountains, behind those siluses on the left. I'm not sure if that's gonna be visible on the camera, but right behind me, I'm pointing my finger at it. Uh, it's a Mount Rhinair or Rhymare, if I don't remember how to pronounce that, then Bogdan didn't remember that either. That's what it is, it's covered with the snow. But yeah, the view is spectacular this morning. There's not much of a haze like it was uh, yesterday while we arriving in here. So much more clear air because of the nice breeze that we have. Another thing, all along, they have a lot of windmills here along the mountains on top of the peaks. Uh, we'll be riding yesterday for, for quite some time here and uh, the mills are set up everywhere. They're really pushing for that green energy. But the problem is the wind here is not that much because yesterday, for example, there was not even a movement of the, any flag or nothing. Everything was still. Today there's a breeze, which is nice. Uh, I wonder what happens when they have a burnout like that though. Because uh, like there's so much burned out when you're riding along the main highway, the interstate, uh, the mountains are always burn out. And what happens when the fire gets close to those windmills? That's, uh, that's a question that I would arise on here. It looks like the scenery will be changing shortly. Finally, some trees will leave the desert behind for a while, I hope, I think. Just passing through Goldendale, Highway 97, US State Highway. Entering town of Yakima, and then we'll be going on on All American Road to find out what is that all about. The, uh, Interstate 82 onto Highway 12, U.S. Highway 12 West, out of Yakima. We're gonna head out, head out a little bit more west and then we'll be pushing back north. So we're just pulling out of Yakima and uh, here along the side there is a lot of fruit trees and uh, apples mostly are what I can see and little mar markets uh, with fruits similar to Osoyos in Canada because that's a very similar climate it is bloody warm desert and it's a perfect uh, conditions for growing produce that looks like it's a lumber yard of the building the crates for uh, all the produce there you go more more apple trees on both sides of the road.
So we're reaching almost the top of the pass of Washington 410 All-American Road. And the view is actually quite not bad. It's very similar to Road to the Sand Glacier National Park. The first stretch was quite boring, but uh, now it looks actually quite decent. We gotta pull up here. So we just pulled out in one of the pull-out uh, sections of uh, All American Road with the nice mountain view just behind us. So yeah, it's uh, when you're looking in the back there, that looks very similar to Road to the Sun when you're heading up there down in Montana. Just going to the next viewpoint, it should be on the right hand side, maybe on the left, I'm not sure because it looked like far away. There was quite a few vehicles parked on the side of the road. They made those little pullouts here and according to the GPS here, we're at 4814. I have a feeling there will be a few switchbacks. Ooh, waterfall on the right. Yeah, that's very, very similar to Glacier, like with those water slides on the side. So if you ever ride, if you ever rode Glacier National Park, that's a very, very similar scenery. And right now we are 5,276. There's gotta be the pullout somewhere here. But I think it's gonna be the one on the left, because here is a hiking trail most likely. Yeah, they're gonna be here, but I have a feeling. There we are. That's the main viewpoint, I believe, of this section.
Yeah, sunrise is straight up. And we got to the sunrise point. Elevation 6,122 feet. Where is that point? Oh, right in front of us. Okay, there we made it to the top. And just to confirm, 6,114 feet above the sea level. The view actually is quite nice here. That's my friends, I don't know where the hell they went. This is the Mount Rainier. I'm just reading here of the plaque. It's at 14,410 feet. It is the highest peak in Cascade Ranch among the Mount of St. Helens, Mount Adams and Mount Baker. It is part of charm of volcanic that extends from Northern California to Southern British Columbia. The Cascade volcanoes arise from the corrosion of enormous sheets of planet surface. These large slabs of rock called tectonic plates float atop of Earth's mantle. So this is actually a volcanic uh, mountains. It's a volcano. Mount Rainier Volcano When is that gonna blow up? Maybe now? And uh, we have a glacier on fro in front of us on this uh, Mount Rainier a black spot right there in the middle That's a pretty big glacier actually But this glacier all around it's not just in one spot if you look at it closely You see, there's uh, on that side there's glacier as well. It looks like we will be wrapping another day of this trip. The highlight today was that Mount Rainier. Pretty nice uh, to see. And now uh, another 20 miles, 21 miles, and we'll be looking for a campground location for a night. There's not much going on here, but we'll see.
So this is potential campground that uh, we might be staying at. Kanda Scott Palmer State Park. So let's hope for the best that we will be able to find a spot. Campground full. Yay or nay? Group camp. And campground to the right. They're both. Campground left. Campers only beyond this point. No day use. Campground host on duty. There you go. Pay station.